digital access, commerce, communication, health and wellness, etiquette, law, literacy, rights and responsibilities, and digital security are the nine elements of digital citizenship as described by Matt Rebel in 2015. When making digital tools and devices accessible to all individuals, smart with online purchases, appropriate use of online communication, men need both your physical and psychological strains and discomfort. Knowing the proper interactions of digital tools, being conscious of copyright laws and child protection laws, or maintaining the security of the devices that are found between you and your online connection are a part of being a good digital citizen. So what makes a good digital citizen and how can there be support to increase the understanding of digital citizenship? Practicing the elements will develop empathetic and educated citizens of the digital space. But why is digital citizenship important? According to the Pew Research Study, it was found that 73% of students and teachers are using their smartphones in class to complete assignments. With so many more students and teachers are utilizing digital tools like smartphones and tablets, what can be done to support the development of digital citizenship? Focus first on two of the nine elements, digital literacy and digital etiquette. Developing a literate citizen is more than just understanding how to use the technology. It's about finding ways to develop a deeper understanding and knowing how to find support to learn more about the tools. A digital literate person will have the tenacity to not give up, but use the many resources that are available to learn more. Learning how to learn is a skill that many employers are expecting new hires to have when taking on a new position. A digital literate citizen will develop the skills to learn and support the learning of all nine elements of digital citizenship. The norms of right and wrong are becoming more ambiguous while interacting online. Digital etiquette addresses how to determine and establish these new formats. Understanding when to use personal devices is key to starting an interaction appropriately. And realizing that there's another person behind that comment box and not just an anonymous person behind a computer screen. So what can make digital students a priority? Making it learner-driven, relevant exercise, and developing character and understanding of the proper use of tools used every day.